Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we talked about how the IC engines operate. However, do you guys think that all IC engines operate the same? Well, the answer is no. In this video, we'll talk about how these IC engines are classified. As we know, motorcycles have small engines while cars have large engines. Some engines consume petrol while others consume diesel. In this way, there are several different types of engines. How are these IC engines classified? Well, let's find it out. You must have seen how the engines of old motorcycles like the RX100 and the new ones work differently. These motorcycles catch speed faster than old cars. Why does it happen? One of the reasons is the different cycles of operation on which both engines operate. On this basis, IC engines are classified as four-stroke engines and two-stroke engines. In four-stroke engines, the engine operation takes place in four strokes, suction, compression, power, and exhaust. These engines are widely used in cars, buses, trucks, etc. On the other hand, a two-stroke engine carries out the entire operation in only two strokes, compression stroke and expansion stroke. These engines are used mostly in railway engines nowadays. The petrol engines that you find in cars operate differently when compared with the diesel engines used in heavy automobiles. One of the reasons for this difference is the cycle of combustion. Based on this, engines are classified as auto cycle engine, diesel cycle engine, and dual cycle engine. Petrol engines use auto cycle for their operation while diesel engines use diesel cycle for operation. Dual cycle is also used in engines in diesel fueled vehicles. To learn more about the three cycles of combustion, click the link in the description below. You must have taken a look at the engine of your car and your bike. Did you notice any difference in size between their engines? Well, motorcycle engines are significantly smaller when compared to the engines used in a car. This is because the motorcycle engines usually have only one cylinder, while engines in cars have multiple cylinders. Based on the number of cylinders, IC engines are classified as single cylinder engines and multi cylinder engines. The IC engine classification doesn't end here. Petrol engines and diesel engines use different methods of ignition, which form a basis for engine classification. Based on this, engines are classified as spark ignition engines and compression ignition engines. Just as the name suggests, in SI engine, a spark is provided to start the combustion of the air fuel mixture with the help of a spark plug. On the other hand, in CI engines, Fuel is sprayed on the highly compressed air inside the cylinder using a fuel injector which initiates the combustion. Engine speed and method of cooling also form the basis of classification of IC engines. When you travel in cars and local trains, you must have noticed that the pickup speed and acceleration of both vehicles are different. This is because of the different speeds of engines used in trains and cars. According to engine speed, IC engines are classified as slow speed, medium speed and high speed engines. Slow speed engines have a speed of 80 to 120 RPM and are used in marine engines, while high speed engines can be found in high performance vehicles. Medium speed engines find their application in cars as well as in generators. According to the method of cooling, engines are classified as air cooled engines and liquid cooled engines. As the name suggests, air is used for cooling the air cooled engines, while a liquid coolant is used as a coolant for liquid cooled engines. Liquid cooled engines are properly supplied with the liquid which is stored in the cylinder. Well, that's all for today. We discussed the classification of IC engines engines on the basis of several criteria like operation cycle, ignition system, cooling method, etc. We'll be back soon with the components of IC engines and their functions. Until then, stay tuned and stay safe. Bye.